what they have in common is they were a champion for uh, health care for children in, in our community. Uh, Dick Johnson, you would have to look upon him as a founder, a visionary. He would have to be looked upon as the father of the hospital who gave birth to it. We created an atmosphere that was entirely child-oriented. And as such, everyone was expected to treat the patients like a child and again involving the parents wherever and whenever. And it was, to me, it was very comforting, enjoyable to see those things happening with the child responding readily with a smile. So you try to provide those types of accommodations and or treatment via just personal relationship of staff members and other members in the hospital staff uh, to help them remember that they're treating also again the, the, uh, the not only the child or that we are but also uh, the uh, uh, parent as uh, the parent plays a role significantly in easing the mind of the child and emotions that they otherwise might have. It makes hospitalization easier for the child, which is what you want to do, that's what you're there for. And that is something that I think that, uh, well, not too many hospitals uh, have the opportunity, either they've had the opportunity or they uh, perpetuate it. And the perpetuation of that is accomplished by all people, whether they're maintenance staff, or whether they're housekeeping staff, or who they may be, they contribute to the children's feeling more comfortable because everybody is friendly to them. And that's important because oftentimes they come there with a lot of apprehension. I worked with the Blair Sadler for many years and he was A, really smart, had a vision and worked at it and made a great contribution you know, to uh, laying the foundation for what we have today. I think one of the single things that I'm most excited about in reflection is that over that time, San Diego Children's, Rady Children's became the community resource for literally all kids in the county. We wanted to not only care for kids, we wanted to care about kids. That meant going into the communities and see kids where they are and where they live. We created a, a major center in child abuse and the leading one probably in the country named after David Chadwick whose vision this was. I also was proud of our pediatric trauma center designation in 1984. You know, it seems like we were the little engine that could way back when. Uh, we were David. Uh, now we're Goliath in size and I think in impact and I think the the vision and aspiration of the current leadership is remarkable. Ernest and Evelyn's extraordinary gift uh, on June 29th of 2006, uh, at you know, such a remarkable level of generosity, unseen almost in the country for a children's hospital at the time, that completely changed what we were able to do. When we were building the Rose Pavilion in the early 90s, we were working with the architects and we just, we knew what we wanted to put in, the functions, but they asked us, what, what do you want it to feel like? And so we sat down and said, you know, we want it to feel childlike, authentic, calming, inspiring, hopeful, uh, consistent with the San Diego environment. And so we did that, and it meant more natural light, outdoor spaces, first healing garden, art and music, a place that felt like home. You know, there's a magic here. You walk around the halls, you walk between the buildings, and you see something special going on here. And you see it not only the way the place feels, but the way the people feel, the way they look at you, a twinkle in the eye, a kind of a, a jump in, you know, in their step. And uh, that's what kept me coming back. And, you know, it was a privilege to be here for all this time. I feel like one of the luckiest people on the planet. When Kathleen Selleck came on board, she performed a miracle of taking this first of all the foundation and then the structure and turning it into a magnificent organization. It's a big transition 
to go from being a traditionally children's community hospital into one that is an academic medical center. Everyone involved knew that that was what was needed to bring to San Diego the best that was possible. So what it took was finding what was really important to each of the constituency groups to make sure we didn't lose the best of what Rady Children's had, but incorporated it and hardwired it to be what we'd have going forward. And if I were to look back over eight years and say, what was that point at which, when we, what was that point when we turned the corner and knew that we could become, really become world class? And it was on September 1st of 2009 when the board approved and the documents were signed to bring together all of the physicians into a practice plan or what we call the Medical Practice Foundation where we could continue to retain and recruit the brightest physicians from across the country, across the world, to be right here for us in San Diego. When I arrived at Rady Children's Hospital, they had just finished going through the planning and approval process to build the acute care pavilion. When a team comes together with a focus on doing us right for children, and it was expanding our facilities, but doing it in a very fiscally responsible way that also introduced beauty, that we could make it a reality. So what the acute care pavilion represents for me is the best a hospital can be with LEED certification, coming under budget, on time, and allowing for the growth that generations to come will require. I'm really proud that I got to be a part of it, but mostly that everyone was here, all the pieces were in place, and we just needed to celebrate and tell our stories. And with the transformational gift from the Rady family, it made it even easier. Thank you, Dick Johnson, uh, the founder of this great organization, Blair, the builder, and Kathleen, the streamliner. You guys did a great, great job, and everybody in this community should be grateful to you for what you accomplished.